spotters in dermatology. So, this is a case of non bullous impeti group presenting with characteristic honey colored crust, perioral and perinasally present in children, caused both by streptococcus and staphylococcus, and the complications are post glomerulonephritis and arrhythmia multiforme. Next, we have lupus vulgaris. An erythematous plaque with an advancing edge and central scarring is lupus vulgaris, which can be transmitted both endogenously and exogenously. And remember, central clearing is seen in tinea. Central crusting is seen in leishmaniasis. Next, you can see salt and paper pigmentation seen in patients of systemic sclerosis. Quatrin's papules which are pathognomonic of dermatomyositis in which the patient has these lichenoid papules over proximal and distal interphalangeal joints and metacarpophalangeal joints. Next is chick sign seen in patients post chikungunya fever. The patients they have pigmentation over nose. Congenital melanocytic nevi. Patients have this black nevus with hypertrichosis and remember more than 20 cm in size, it has tendency to turn into malignant melanoma. So this is a grey patch of non-scarring alopecia seen in patients of tinea capitis, grey patch caused by ectothrix variety that is the spores they are present outside the hair shaft caused by microsporum species. In this, the hair breaks 3 to 4 mm above the scalp surface and also these show fluorescence. Then we have alopecia errata, non-scarring alopecia with sparing of the white hair. Why? Because the antigen is against the melanin present in the hair bulb. Hair bulge is spared, that's why it results in non-scarring alopecia. Basal cell carcinoma. In this, the patient has this nodule with central ulceration and pearled and rolly margins, mostly present over the face and the most common location over the face is nose. So, this is a patient having velvety hyperpigmentation over the neck. Similar pattern can be seen over the other flexures known as acanthosis nigricans. The most common cause of which is obesity, then it can be diabetes, insulin resistance and certain drugs.